In a recent press conference in Banyaka, a spokesperson for the village youth urged the government to officially recognize Banyaka as a tax paying entity and to implement immediate measures to improve its severely deteriorated road condition. I'm urging to the government uh, to consider uh, Banyaka as a village, as people who are paying um, tax every time, and then they consider Banyaka also the business people uh, have a lot of challenges pretending about the drivers. Because when, at times when I come here with my luggage, they always like to stop at the container and whereby they are forcing to make a garas. And whereby the citizens of Banyaka, the, uh, the Alcalo, the VDC members and the youths are not happy about that. So if government are not there to secure the safety of Banyaka, any driver who thinks that he cannot reach up to the destination, what I have to say for the security personnel and the leader of the country, Adam Baro, that's... He make it a stop or else if something happen, they have a lot of answer by themselves before us. The community has expressed growing frustration over poor infrastructure, leaving many drivers unable to access the village. Residents warn if the situation does not improve, local youths may take their action against those unable to reach Banyaka. Talking to the drivers, whoever thought you cannot come in, stop there. You save your life. It's better. Because the youths are ready to take any decision which you know, the security personnel have a question because we wrote uh, the secretary wrote and they don't give a positive answer, which we are not happy. Always we are hearing what the police are responding to our secretary, which we are not happy at all. It is not a response they should give to the secretary general of the VDC. What they should do is they have to fight and then they went to the safe guards and they talked to them and the transport union, that is their responsibility. It's not our responsibility. They thought we are have to push things up to the ministry, and they did it. So now the government should be approved and consider us as citizens. The spokesperson highlighted the present issue of standing water that prevents vehicle access, criticizing local security personnel for their inadequate response to community concerns. He rallied the people of Banyaka, urging them to be strong and fight this together, as they seek solutions to improve their living condition. Major challenges we have here is the tar road, especially here the standing water, because no, no car can pass here. Because the construction came, they came and construct here, why they don't finish it, and the rainy system came, and it make a lot of challenges to us. And then we need uh, the government to consider us, and then they help us here, so that we can have a better route. And then I am urging to every youth and then uh, ladies and gentlemen, let them stand strongly, and then we fight against this. Reporting for GTTV News, I am Amijalo.